back to my channel. Um, today we are back at the Fossil Hill. Um, I was going to go somewhere else today, but it got a little too late in the day to make that trip. Uh, I know I said the quarantine beard was going to be gone, but again, things happen. But uh, we're going to give this place a shot again today and uh, see what we can find. It. Everybody's having a good entrance in the spring. I know the weather here has been beautiful. It's been a little chilly this past week, but yeah, let's see what we can do. Alrighty, well, just starting to climb down over the hill and uh, pick a rock and stumbled across this. Can uh, turn around here? This rock right here. This is laying here, pre-split. So I figured I'd take a look at it with you. See if there's anything remarkable about it. And of course, I get down over the hill, and my phone decides to start making noise. Let me quiet that down real quick. <sighs> That's quiet. <sighs> and I'm seeing, ooh, got a nice fern right here on the edge. Ah, uh, it's gonna come apart in pieces. There was a fern there, but it's all broke up now. Rock definitely broken. Strange, very weird pattern. A little chunk of fern here. Huh. Well. Nothing there that I can see. But yeah. Very nice, very nice fern. Probably not going to take that with me though because this rock's ready to break in half as it is and it won't survive the transport back to my house. As you can see there's a nice crack right above my finger and that's running right through the middle of that fern. So, oh well, at least I documented it. It is a very nice impression. Alright, well, on to the next one. Alrighty, well, I didn't have to go too far from where that little rock that was in, uh, already split to this rock right here. Uh, if we take a look, as you can see, the top's all nice and crumbly. But just at a very, very quick glance, you can see right here. In front of my finger not sure how well it's going to show up there's a fern there fern there another little tiny fern there fern here fern here a fern there a nice sized fern here i hope that one shows up because that's beautiful i'm going to try and get some of these off of here in one piece and I'm not going to get my hopes up again because let's do a quick little disclaimer here in my last video I said that I had found a beautiful feather well I've spoken to a geologist from out by Philadelphia and I took it to the geology department or not the geology department the paleontology department at a local university and they both came to the same conclusion that that fossil was actually the fossil leaf of a fern that the the big fern like fan was like six or seven feet long so 
lesson learned it wasn't a feather it was actually just a uh just a leaf but that's okay because it's still cool as heck i am not mad not as happy as i was <laughs> but it was still really cool to find um but i'm seeing something on here that looks really neat i'm not sure what it is and i'll be honest with you straight out the gate i don't know what it is whatsoever so let's take a look at it this right here see if i can get it in focus but this right here i'm assuming some sort of plant But I have no idea what it is. Here's another one here. I'm hoping that I can get some of this stuff off of here in one piece. Because that would be super cool. Oh, and here's some fossilized wood. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, start ripping this apart. Gently, of course. And we'll see what we come up with. I shall return. Well, it turned to be a lot harder to get the fossils off the surface of this rock than I thought it was. But the rock right next to it turned out to be a lot easier. And I'll flip the camera around here real quick. And as you can see, got a real nice impression right there. That's actually the positive side of this one. So, yeah. I'm going to keep working on this one right here. This rock right here has some nice, nice fossils in it. So we're going to work on this one. All right. Shall return. All right. Figured I'd give you guys a quick little update on this rock right here, which as you can see is significantly bigger than my hand. Um, been hammering out of here for a few minutes and, uh, yeah, let's see what we're looking at see what we found so far it's a good stone for uh for some ferns yep got the safety glasses on got to protect the eyeballs all right let's turn you around and uh take a peek at what we got the most recent piece that i've popped out of here is this one and uh so you got some chunks of leaves Got a real, real pretty fern right there. Got a couple more ferns over here. Uh, a little bit of fossilized wood. And here's the other half of it. As you can see, fern, fern, wood, leaves, all kind of good stuff in there. Got another really nice fern over here. Pretty good sized. I'm not sure how good this is going to show up on this camera. Of course, I'm wearing tinted glasses, so I'm not seeing too good. <laughs> but, uh, got some nice big chunks of petrified, well, fossilized wood here. I don't know if you would call it petrified or not, but nice big pieces. Try and get the shadows out of the way. Got nice pieces of petrified or fossilized wood, however you want to call it. Got a nice big piece here. Probably about six or seven inches long there. But yeah, we're making progress. Like I said, unfortunately, that piece was a little bit too long. But it happens. Or too difficult to chisel those beautiful fern impressions off of. But we'll see what happens. Alrighty, folks. See you in a few. Okay, so not 110% sure. But I'm pretty sure. I just found something really cool because I know this area was underwater a couple hundred million years ago and uh, I think right there where you see that chiseled out spot I believe this little doodad is a pyritized crinoid stem like I said I'm not 100% sure I am probably going to take it and get it looked at somewhere 
but I'm pretty sure it's a segment of a crinoid stem which if that's the case that's freaking awesome it's heavy and it's very sparkly Let's see if I can get the Sun to make it sparkle it's very sparkly and it looks like pyrite and it was rusty on the surface until I knocked the rust off by accident but yeah I think not like I said 100% sure but I think that's a crinoid stem segment and if that's the case that's freaking awesome I'm not going to say with 100% certainty like I did before on that leaf that turned out to be a leaf instead of a feather. But hey, win if that's what it is. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty freaking awesome if that's the case. All right, I'm going to get back to it. I'm not going to be here much longer because I got my fiance and her son with me. And they're chilling in the car relaxing while I'm down here filming a video. Um, but yeah. Alright, I'm going to get back to it for a little bit more, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I did a little more chiseling where I pulled that suspected crinoid stem. And uh, check this out. See if I can get this flipped around real quick. Yeah, did some more chiseling, and that definitely looks like crinoid stem and it just goes straight into this rock and it's yay thick so whew, it's going to take some work but I'm going to try and get as much of this thing out of here as I can and I'm going to try and get as much out of here as I can in one piece because the more I get out in one piece the happier I'll be because yeah I do believe that is Fossil, fossilized crinoid stem replaced by pyrite and if that's the case that is a hell of a find especially in this area but yeah it's smaller than my fingertip around so yeah I'm kind of geeked about that if that's what it is and it certainly looks that way I'm going to do everything I can to get it out of there safely I'll get back to you Alrighty then. I broke out the big boy hammer. You know, this one. And every other tool I have in my arsenal. And I made that rock a lot smaller. To the best of my ability. I'm still moving pieces of it. I'm sitting on the top piece of it. But I cracked the rock around that fossil <sighs> Whew. that was some work but she's loose for the most part all around it and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it but she's at least fingertip long in there so let me get the hammer again there she is that's all of it right there live extraction she's in two pieces well three total but that's all of it there's piece one piece two and the other piece is down there in my bag. But I got her all out. I don't know if that's just a pyrite concretion. Which is entirely possible because there is pyrite in this area. Which the more I look at this is hell it could be a copper light that switched over to pyrite for all I know it could be fossilized poop <laughs> wouldn't that be funny pyritized poop 
but it took some serious doing to break through a rock <clears throat> that thick a good solid two and a half three inches thick or better to get that out of there but she's out <sighs> I think on that note <sighs> I think I'm gonna call it a day because <laughs> that kicked my butt but uh yeah I got all my fossils packed up in my bag um I'm gonna stick that in the bag and pick up all my tools <sighs> head over to the car and go for a road trip up into the mountains maybe I'll throw some footage from our trip because uh we're gonna go do some scenic overlooks and whatnot but yeah, I'm beginning to think this might be fossilized poop. It's very small, but I don't care because it's pyrite. That is most definitely pyrite. It's got to be. I'll find out for sure when I get home and I can stick a magnet to it. But it took some doing, but I got it out of there. Alrighty, folks. I'll see you either with some footage from our day trip or at the wrap-up. Until then, have a good one. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome to the wrap up. Um, this is a few days later. Um, I had a couple family emergencies I had to take care of, so this video is going to roll out a bit late. Um, first, before I start going over the few things that I did find, um, that rock not included, um, we're going to talk about my quote-unquote feather fossil. This one right here. Which is beautiful in its own right. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Super glad I found it. But it turns out that this came from a fern-like tree that just so happened to be super tall. And the branches were super long. And yeah, it is not a uh, feather. It is actually from a fern. So yeah, it was really exciting to find thinking that it was a feather. But nope, it's not. But so be it. Um, it was still really cool to find. And the hype was really all there. You got my real reaction when I found it. But uh, I'm still super excited to have it. Um, it's still 300 million years old. So yeah, that is still super cool. But on to my last hunt. Not a whole lot, because I didn't have a whole bunch of time. Um, yeah, it was an awesome hunt, nonetheless. Uh, as you saw in the video, I did find a lot of really cool stuff. And... If you remember the big rock with the stuff on the face of it, um, I was able to get a couple pieces off of it. If you see, look, if you can see right here, I will try and get better pictures for the slideshow. But right here and right here are a couple. This is a fern here. Not real sure what this is here. It's kind of a fan pattern. Um, I'm assuming it's another fern. And there's another fern right here. Um, they're kind of difficult to see. Um, and here's another piece of that. Of another rock that I broke apart. Here's another one of those. What I would have thought was a feather. But it's not. It's another fern leaf. But look at all the crazy. Let me move on under, under the light a little bit. Look at that fern. How's that for an example? That is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I was able to grab that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, got some more fern down here. Another blade here. And got some 
nice fern leaves long ones back here fern stalk there Got a little bit of fern stalk here got an interesting pattern here I'm not quite sure what it is it's more of that fan pattern it's interesting I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and see if I can figure out what it is but that rocks really cool uh, this rock got a real nice fern here let me see if I can turn it this way to get a better shadow contrast type deal this light's super bright see if I can move it away a little see if it helps but yeah you can see that I think I'll definitely get better shots with the other lens on here but uh yeah that one's really nice another leaf right here on the back side I think that's just about it on the back a couple other little particles of leaves but that's about it there um this rock don't really look like much this was the top surface and whenever I broke it there was a fern pointing down into the rock which was weird which I thought was really cool let me see find the focus point here not really clear there we go yeah that was actually pointing down into the rock when I broke it which is really odd because it's going against the grain of the rock so I was like hey I'm going to snag that one because that's really strange because the rock breaks this way in shale and it's going the opposite direction so yeah that's neat this one nothing on this side as far as I can tell but you flip it over it's got a real nice positive of a fern it's a little busted up there and I didn't quite get all of it because of the way this rock broke but I got the vast majority of it and I'm pretty happy with it um, I could actually cut this off with the saw carefully and maybe put it in like a little display or something um, this little teeny tiny rock if I get the angle just right you can see a little tiny fern right there and if I flip it over there's another little teeny tiny fern it's real difficult to see let me flip it this way you can see it a little better but I mean that's the size of my thumbnail <laughs> so it's really small but there's four or five leaves which I thought was pretty cool I just pulled that out of the bottom of my backpack that I brought everything home in and I was like huh ain't that some stuff got this nice little fern here get it in focus yeah that one turned out nice don't believe there was anything on the back of that one Got another teeny tiny one smaller than my thumbnail this time but that fern is very well defined real nice features on that one nothing on the back but yeah that one is really nice another nice well defined chunk of uh, fern end nice defined uh fanning on this side i lost the other half of it i don't know where it disappeared to i must have left it at the site but i had no this was the edge of the rock here so this is all that was there but um it's very cool yeah this right here was the edge of the rock so yeah awesome another little piece here well defined very pretty I could actually cut it here if I wanted to but uh yeah very well defined nothing on the back side 
another nice little plate here got several pieces of fern one here one here one there flip it over got some small leaves other than that it's got a little bit of fern up here other than that nothing really overly spectacular <clears throat> this little guy got perfect fern right through the middle of it which I'm really happy with nothing on the top side and this is red shale here as you can see by the red coloration at least I hope you can see that I like that I like the different colors of red and black the difference this piece has a really nice fern in the middle Got another little fern that's kind of difficult to see over here. Um, backside, there's a little bit of fern there. Um, other than that, nothing really going on on the backside. This piece got some fern stalk or fern leaf here from one of the much larger ferns. Um, there's some more of that red. I, I really hope this is showing up as where you can see the different colors. Got some more long fern leaves here, a little bit there. On the back side is where the real magic is. You can see that fern right there, plain as day. Another big fern leaf here, another fern there. When I was out hunting these, um, my main focus was looking for ferns wasn't really looking for anything else um yeah so that's why my collection of rocks for this day was so small this piece here's a nice long fern feather or yeah fern feather fern rock here it's in really nice shape um Another one here, another leaf up here, nice piece of fern stalk here, up towards the top, hiding underneath here. I can probably dig that out with my uh, engraver. Another little leaf here on the back side. Again, that's where the magic is. Got a beautiful fern right there. Another beautiful one right here. Um, another leaf up here. Got some other stuff going on. A little ripple right there. I'm not 100% sure what that is. Another leaf right here. But I know you guys are all waiting for the magical piece that I found that blew my mind. Well, here's the matrix that it came out of. And you can see nice perfectly smooth just the right size for my pinky and here's the three pieces that came out of it now you can see it's kind of shiny that's where the uh, rust came off of it this was the outermost piece that was sticking out of the rock face I mean it was sitting there like this like, hey, can't you see me? Well, I saw it. This was the second piece. And it goes together like this. So there's two pieces. And then this piece and this piece meet. Like so. And... Like I said in the video as I was recording it. Alright. Camera kind of cut off on me for a second there. Uh, like I said in the video. I wasn't sure. If. This was. A coprolite. Or. A crinoid stem. Well. I spoke to several people. 
over the last few days, and it has officially been determined that it is a crinoid stem, and actually, it's a crinoid root, also known as a holdfast. You can tell by this rounded end here, I'll set these two down so I don't drop them, but if you look how this is rounded, and I'll bring up a picture real quick on my phone. If you look right here, it's a little blurry, but it's there. You got all these little holdfasts, which is what they're called. They're all rounded at the ends. That's what anchored the crinoid in place. Well, I do believe that's what part of this of a crinoid this is. Is that hold fast. Based on this end, which would have been the last segment that grabbed into the dirt at the bottom of the ocean, which this part of Pennsylvania was underwater quite a, a couple hundred million years ago and yeah I think that'll that pretty much sums it up as far as that goes set my phone back down now let's reassemble this okay and if we take this and this I'm gonna drop it. I knew that was gonna happen. But these two pieces fit perfect right in there. And then of course this piece goes on the end like this. And I'm gonna be re-gluing all of this back together with the matrix. And it's gonna display just like this. And I think that's pretty freaking awesome. My crinoid holdfast in the matrix. That is freaking cool. Alrighty. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys over to the uh, slideshow. And I'm going to call it a day. And I hope you guys have a great day. Have a good one. Take care.